Feral cats on the prowl. An all too frequent sight while documenting urban wildlife. Some cast aside by their human owners, others born wild on the city streets, creeks, and open spaces. Let's take a look at feral cat colonies living along the rivers and marshes of the Santa Clara Valley and examine the cat's environmental impact. Many species of wildlife fall prey to the feral cats. This includes rodents like mice, moles, and squirrels, even reptiles, amphibians, and birds like the California quail. All ground-dwelling wildlife has to keep a keen eye about them when in the territory of a feral cat. A feral cat's wild diet could also impact the available prey for native predators like the gray fox and the red-tailed hawk. Another impact on wildlife associated with feral cats are the feeding stations. These feeding stations can usually be found in and around wildlife designated areas. We started monitoring the feeding stations and quickly found out that the cats weren't the only animals eating the food. We also witnessed two of these birds take the kibble back to a nest to feed their young. We began to see nocturnal animals come out during the day after the feeders have been filled. We discovered that other conservationists had had similar experiences at the feeders. Here we have a little masquerader. During the day it's 3.45 and this guy's out uh, eating cat food. It's unusual for them to be out during the day. We began to wonder what the activity was like at these feeding stations around the clock. So Bill set up a trail camera and we were astonished at what we found. The gray foxes emerge in the late afternoon after the feeders have been filled. But soon the skunks will arrive and the foxes will retreat into the night. The skunk's aggression toward one another seems to be increasing, each vying for a piece of the fast food. This young coon cautiously approaches for a taste, but the elder has yet to have his fill. It's difficult to think of a situation in nature where these animals would interact like this on a regular basis. But night after night, the wildlife returns to quarrel over this greasy bounty. We hypothesize that these feeding stations may influence aggressive behavior in the wildlife. With so many animals eating large quantities of food out of the same bowl, it's possible that these feeding stations might impact the health and weight of the animal and aid in the spread of disease. When the cats finally show up, they are often left with nothing to eat. After analyzing two weeks of data on this feral cat feeding station, we found that cats made only 4% of the visits and frequently arrived to an empty bowl. This means that nearly all of the food at this feeding station was actually consumed by wildlife. Before these skunks spin out of control, we might consider placing restrictions on feeding stations in areas that might have significant impacts on wildlife. To learn more about this ongoing study, visit Urban Wildlife Research Project on the web at uwrp.wordpress.com. Meow, 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 meow,